Selly Oak Hospital in Birmingham, like so many other hospitals in Europe, has had problems fighting superbugs such as MRSA. As a specialist trauma center, Selly Oak was particularly keen to take part in this new trial, which on the face of it appears deceptively simple. The secret weapon for reducing MRSA and other hospital-acquired infections could be copper. In this general medical ward, the door push plates and handles, which are normally made from stainless steel, are being replaced by copper. Research has shown that copper has high antimicrobial properties and superbugs quite simply die when they come into contact with the metal. The taps and other fittings in the bathrooms, which all day long are being touched by hundreds of hands, potentially passing on infection, are also being switched to copper. Human beings are covered in organisms and we can spread organisms from one patient to another by various routes. It can be spread in the air, it can be spread by hands, or it can be spread by instruments. We need to try and make sure that all those areas are minimized in terms of numbers of organisms we have on there, putting our patients at risk. And if copper can do that job for us, that's going to be fantastic. Around 80% of infectious diseases are transmitted by contact. So in the trial, even the pens which are used by medical staff are made from brass, a copper alloy. In future, doctors' stainless steel stethoscopes may also be replaced by copper. The hospital trial is the result of research here at Southampton University. Microbiologists first saw that E. coli bacteria were killed on copper surfaces. Now research into MRSA has shown that high concentrations of microbes, which survive for three days on stainless steel, die within 45 minutes of contact with copper. The lower MRSA concentrations found in hospitals die within just 15 minutes. Copper is very reactive and it's very good at inhibiting bacteria. And we found out that in particular it inhibits their respiration. In, in effect, it stops them breathing. We've been doing this work now for the past five or six years. But in fact, if we look back in the literature, copper was used by the Egyptians thousands of years ago. So we're just reinventing the wheel. It's not just MRSA which can be killed by copper, but other newer hospital bugs, such as Clostridium difficile. And now the Southampton team have also seen that copper is effective in killing the human flu virus, which could have important implications in fighting any future outbreak of bird flu. Avian flu is very similar to normal human flu. They're almost identical. So although we haven't done the work, we would predict that we should get exactly the same results. And if that is the case, then obviously copper uh, offers us a, a, a very important barrier uh, to use in food processing, for example. Up to 5,000 patients die every year from hospital-acquired infections in Britain. It costs the National Health Service around one billion pounds. No one element can wipe out the problem, but it's believed that copper could make a real difference. Potentially it's very, very exciting. If we find that the copper actually does work in the clinical environment, as has been shown in the laboratory tests in Southampton and also in our own laboratories in Birmingham, then this potentially has a, a great offer in terms of prevention of spread of infection. During the trial, infection rates on this ward will be compared with a similar ward without copper fittings. The trial is due to last 18 months, but if it shows promising results earlier, then there's little doubt that other hospitals will be keen to follow this lead.